Good morning, everybody. Well, today I'm going to attempt to put the belts in my Murray Rider, my 1993 Murray. And I cleaned off the uh, platform here, so I'm going to bring the tractor up on the platform. I got everything cleaned off pretty good, so I just got to move that those blocks of wood over there what's holding the screen down for the grass seed and I'll just bring the tractor right up here and I, I'll have a nice place to work uh, and, and if I drop anything at least I can find it over here I've got the book out uh, of the for the tractor and um, I bought this tractor in 1999 it's a 1993 model I bought it from my neighbor uh, his neighbor's daughter um, years and years ago like I say in 1999 and um, I'm looking at the instruction for removing the mower deck that's the hardest part is getting the mower deck on and off and running the belts through it. You cannot get this particular service manual online. I've tried. It would be easier for me to look at it on the computer than it is to strain my eyes trying to read it with a magnifying glass. But um, the number 25 is a uh, the motion belt, the drive belt. So it's just got a big pulley here uh, that's on the tran axle you got an idler pulley here and this end goes to the motor and the um, mower deck belt which is an 86 inch belt the main drive was 95 inch um, and those belts like I say I got already that's kind of a, a mess when they got the exploder view like that it really looks makes it look really complicated so uh, years ago I bought parts for this to, from a place called RBI. I don't even know if they're still around anymore, but it cost me quite a bit of money uh, back then to get parts for this. And when I got this from my neighbor, I paid 200 but it cost me $57 for the, the front wheel because he lost the wheel to it. Uh, how we did, I don't know, but anyways, um, that was back in 1999, so that's why when I saw it at Jacobson, I said, wow, for 200 bucks, you know, um, sure you're going to have wear on them, you know, but uh, like everybody tells me, it's, it's too big. Um, with this yard here, here would probably be all right, um, but there are some areas that I wouldn't be able to get to very well like into here and stuff with that big thing so I'm, I'm not gonna get it I haven't heard from the guy yet and I wouldn't expect to so let's get started on this thing I the more I talk the more larger the file size is for uploading well we're getting ready to start now the weather channel actually the local weather forecast predicted about 70 to 75 degrees today oh love it love it love it and cloudy and that's my kind of weather when it gets 80 and above forget it okay we're gonna go get the tractor now okay I'm gonna go get the tractor I think Sammy um, must have picked, uh, went into some poison ivy or something because I know I wasn't this has been itching me now for four or five days and it seems to be getting worse. I am very allergic to poison ivy. When I was a kid and working with my dad landscaping, uh, both my knees were swelled up from poison ivy. So I'm highly allergic to it. Well, we're going to try to start it and run it over here. Uh, it should start, but if I get it in gear before I start it, uh, I should be okay.
when the engine's off. This way I can push it a little further back. I can start it, but I'd have to put it in gear first and then uh, start it up. Shift's fine when the engine's off. Now the first thing the book is telling me to do, and it's been years since I took the deck off, um, you gotta remove the hairpins clips that are in there. And uh, as I recall, you have to drop the deck all the way down. Uh, before I even do that, I think I wanna try to get this tractor up a little higher by putting some blocks under it. We'll come back in the video after I get that done. All right, I got the blocks under the back end. I'm going to have to jack this front up and um, get some blocks under that. I could probably drive it up on all four blocks at the same time, but we're not going to worry about that. Uh, yeah, we're losing oil out of that. Uh, but I keep an eye on it. I haven't figured out this brake over here. So all the years I had the tractor, I never could figure out how to use this stupid thing. It never worked for me. Don't understand that. Uh, but I, you know, when I'm driving the tractor, you push the clutch down, it stops like a brake anyways. So, all right, I'm gonna jack this up. I want, this gets it up about an inch and a half higher so that when I lower this, I can always lower this on blocks if I have to. This just gets me a little more height so I can look under there to see what I'm doing. Okay, I made a fulcrum, and I can get this up in the air. Get this two by six under there. And two by six under this side. Should be pretty good and then the deck part now naturally to tell you to lower it as you low as you can get it and if it needs to be supported I can put a, a couple of boards underneath that um, when I unhook it so what I'm gonna do now is to lower the deck and see how far off the floor it is Feels like it's about two inches from the floor. Now if I need to put a block or two underneath there, I, I can. So let's take you over there and see what we gotta do. Okay, I try not to get too much movement on this video. Oh, let's see. Got some C clamps to take out of here. Uh, I oops. Oh, I got a lot of crap in there too, I gotta clean out. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to look at the uh, diagram. There's a lot of crap underneath here that I need to clean out too. I've got to get something to lay down on. I'll be right with you. You may not be able to read this, but anyways, move the lower, the uh, lift lever to the lowest position. Move the blade rotation control to the disengage position. Remove the hairpins and the washers from the adjusting rods in figure 20. See illustration C and D. There's figure 20. See illustration C and D. This is what it is. It's hard for me to see with my eyesight. But blade control. Okay, I took a bunch of snapshots with my uh, camera here. And uh, we're going to just go by what looks logical. 
Now, this, I think, is bolted to this. So, obviously, we've got to pull, pull this out. Uh, and I guess this hinges just stays down. Uh, I'll tell you, the mowing deck is the most complicated part of this thing. The drive belt, which you can't get out until you get rid of this damn deck, is not so hard. But what I want to do is try to clean this crap out that's up underneath here. All this dirt and everything. Um, I'll do that off camera and we'll come back and when I get that done. Okay, I took some more pictures after cleaning it up good. Now I'm going to uh, unhook. Not sure whether well, I should unhook this one or this one. I bought some clamps, some uh, extra um, cotter pins or whatever the hell you call them. Um, <clears throat> That tractor supply, but these things are tiny. I was kind of worried about that, and I, there's a possibility that the ones I bought will not fit in here, so I better not lose any that's in here. There's, these are, these look fatter, and this is bigger. All right, well I'm gonna I'm gonna read this a little bit more, and then I'm going to take the de uh, mowing deck down. All right, I put a 2x4 here because I raised these up on blocks. So this would be equivalent to the height it has to drop for being on the ground. And they, like I say, the reason they put these blocks under to give me a little more clearance underneath so I can see what I'm doing. And I did the same thing here. So we're going to pull the clamps now. <laughs> Clips. I'll set you down here so you can see it. I don't know if you're in camera or not because I cannot see. If you find out. I can't even tell what direction to pull this out. The sun is in my eyes. Sure, I think it's this way. The sun's right in my eyes. I can't see a damn thing. I guess there's an adjustment here. I'm not going to mess around with the adjustment. I got the pin loose, but I got to put a block under here and take the weight off of that so that I get that out. Um, there's a clamp on the back of this. Or I could take it out of here, but I got I, I took a picture of this, so it's in this th third hole, f middle hole in other words, because it's a third hole over no matter whether you go left or right. I can remove this or I can remove this. Don't really matter. I got that removed and I got the thing blocked up on this side now. So we're going to take these and put these up here so we don't lose them. And we got to get this uh, rod out of here and we got to full finish pulling that pin out there. All right, I got that out. Still a lot of crap in there. All right. Uh, so these are basically the same, anyways. This is the uh, blade engagement rod. That was the one in the middle I just removed. So now we just got to take the uh, uh, the belt off uh, from the motor pulley. All right, I'm ready to pull the um, deck out. I put a wrench on this. It needs to be, uh, I think it's 7 sixteenths. The blade keepers, uh, belt keepers, and I couldn't move it, and I felt like I was going to strip the, around the nut off. So I forced the belt around them. I hope I can get the new one on there. Because I'm afraid if I... Snap that off, I've got no belt guides. The book is saying, if necessary, loosen the two belt guides on the stack pulley, at the stack pulley, which are right here. But 
I couldn't budge him with the wrench. I felt like I was going to round the nut off. The book tells you to pull it out from the right side of the mower. That's what we're going to do. I know how it goes forward. All right. I want to make sure that it's put in correctly. I don't want to lose where these things go because they got like a little. Uh, crimp in the end of these things and I don't want to lose it. I know that it come out of there. And that's another reason why I make videos too. Not only to entertain you all, but um, so I know how this thing can go back together again if I run into any problems. It don't look like it's that bad. Not that difficult of a job. I blew this stuff out and everything beforehand. The idle seemed to be okay. The blade seem to be okay. Um, this needs a good lubrication. Now, I remember somewhere in the book when I got this, I got the tractor used, of course, and I remember reading they're telling you not to oil the spindles on the front wheels. And they used to squeak when I'm driving. It told you not to lubricate them. So for years I never lubricated them, and I'm living with this squeaking. I said, the hell with it, I sprayed it with oil or WD-40. So why the book would say, not to lubricate the spindles? That's what it says in this book. I don't know exactly where it said that, but it's in the uh, maintenance somewhere. But in here there's places that need the oil, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to oil everything, clean it out, I'm going to blow this out more off camera with the air compressor and I'll come back on this video when I'm ready to lubricate this thing. I'll study the book and see what points need lubricating. I mean I can just go around with the oil can, not a problem. Okay that's pretty clean, but I found the problem why this thing will not shift. Here it is, this idler wheel here. It's called the backside idler. And this is the clutch, so to speak. They call it a clutch in the manual, so that's what I'm going to call it. I know it's not an actual clutch, but it acts as one. And uh, I'm sorry, I can't hold the light and do that too. I'm going to move the clutch pedal. Uh, watch, the, watch the idle. Yeah. All right. There's a hole in that pulley, right in the face of it. I can't show it to you without releasing it, so I'm going to try to remove the pulley. I don't know, it's all good pieces coming out, it's broken. It's all broken there. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera here, but I don't have a pulley that'll go in there. You know, like a lot of guys have a lot of parts. I don't have that. Uh, what they call it in the book is the back side idler. That's what it's called. Now, see this thing right here? That's your gear shift. That's what changes the gears. This is the gearbox. So when you say that the gearbox is bad, no. The gearbox would be bad if I couldn't shift it at all, whether, you know, the engine's on or off. I can shift this perfectly with the engine off. I can put it in fifth gear and start the engine, she'll just go like a bat out of hell. I can put it in the first gear, she'll go right along just like I saw, like you saw in the beginning of this video. As long as I start it in gear, it's already in gear, it should be fine. 
So what I got to do is I got to remove this. Okay, this is the rear idler pulley. Boy, right, look at that. He flattened right out over there. Now, I doubt my hardware store would have this. And I don't want to drive up the tractor supply, and I, they don't have all that much. Like I thought they would. But that's what it's called. And uh, the diagram shows di it's connected to the clutch uh, control lever and uh, it goes against the belt. Tightens the belt around the big pulley which is right here on the tran axle. And then the gears are changed down here at the right hand side that I showed you underneath the tractor a little while ago. Well, after all these years of having this tractor, now I know how that thing works. You push the clutch pedal all the way down and then you fiddle around with this thing and it catches and then it gives you the brake. And that's how you loosen up and put the belt in. Okay, so underneath here, I got those damn uh, belt keepers on there. See that rod coming down? Uh, that's the hardest thing. You can't get the damn belt out because it's right almost on top of the pulley. And there's a nut up there you're supposed to be able to loosen, but I couldn't get to move the front one, so I doubt I'll be able to move these. And I gotta get this belt out, and I gotta get a pulley for this. Another thing too, when you move the shift lever, see how easy that moves? Not even sure if I'm in the camera because I'm sitting down on the ground. But anyways, when you move that, you move that, you move this, see? So, it's not like a snowblower. You're actually changing gears in here. But your so-called clutch is what they call it, is just loosening and tightening the belt. So, this is what I've been reading and this is how it works. But this will help out somebody maybe that has the same model tractor. Well, I can't do no more on this now until I get an idle wheel for this.